She wouldn't leave him out here alone. Well, what do we do? We can't desert him. The Kyle forget him, sure. You know, when I was a kid around here, old Cap Foster had a place near here where he took care of all the wounded animals and little strays like this. Us kids used to call it uh, Cap Sanitarium. <laughs> here, hand him up to me. Tell the boys to take the horses on up to the Lazy W. I'll be up there in a little while. All right. Take it easy, old girl. You look like you're badly hurt. Oh, shit. Hiya, Jimmy. I thought you'd remember me. Roy. Hiya, Cap. What are you doing out here? I'm delivering some horses for the Lazy W. I brought you a patient. Well, let me have the little fellow. I knew I'd find you up here taking care of the animals. You'll always find me here, Roy. Look, must be his mother. No doubt it is. What happened to her, Cap? She's been shot. Guess she dragged herself up here to see if I could help her. I don't know how badly she's hurt yet. Shot? Well, this isn't deer season. I know, but this is the work of professional hunters. You know, I retired from the Army nearly 20 years ago. But these killers started slaughtering so much game that they deputized me to help track them down. You mean it's a business? Big business. There's millions in it, and it's well organized. They're wiping out the natural game and wildlife of this country faster than it can be replaced. What happened to this old girl is happening to thousands of deer in the United States. They're being slaughtered by these professional hunters using every illegal method in or out of season. Ducks, geese, and other game birds of America are recklessly destroyed and sold to fancy clubs in all our large cities. The people who buy this outlawed game are as guilty as you who kill it. By killing game out of season, you are robbing every American boy of his natural heritage to hunt as a sport as protected by the law. It is people like you who slaughtered off the buffalo and the wild pigeon until they have completely disappeared. In passing sentence, it is the opinion of this court that racketeers of your type must be exposed as the lowest, most contemptible breed of all criminals. 
That's a pretty bad situation, Cap. I don't blame you for coming back into this service. Is there anything I can do to help? Not now, Roy. Maybe later. I think I'm getting closer to these killers. Poor old girl. So you sold some horses to the Lazy W, eh? Yeah. I've been wondering what they were planning to do. I guess they're going to raise a few. Oh, uh, by the way, how are the kids? <laughs> they're not kids anymore, Roy. Wait till you see them. Of course, you and the boys are planning to stay with us. We wouldn't stay anyplace else. You know, Roy, whenever I have to do something like this, it makes me more determined to round up the ones responsible for these killings. I understand, Cap. But she's hurt so badly, it's the only humane thing to do. We'll see you this evening. How do you do? This is Matt Wilkes, my ranch foreman. Hiya, Matt. Glad to know you. The boys told me about finding a little fawn. Were you able to find his mother? Yes. She dragged herself up to the sanitarium where Cap Foster looks after all the animals around here. She'd been shot by some hunters and was hurt so badly that she had to be destroyed. How terrible. I don't understand how people can do things like that. Poor little fawn. Oh, he'll be all right. Cap Foster will look after him. The horses look fine. If you'll step inside, I'll pay you for them now. I'd like to buy the Pinto Pony, too. Oh, no. He's not for sale. Oh? Get all the horses in the corral, fellas. When each new day is born, I go riding in the air. For the wide open plains I roam. In the air. Till the sun to the hills goes hiding. In the air. There will always be someone glad when I come home. In the air. In the air. End of day. Home we go. For a cowboy has to sing. Bloody. And a cowboy has to yell. Or his heart would break inside of him at the gates of the home corral. There's a tired pony glad that it's over. With a song in my heart, so am I. For tonight we'll be dreaming of clover. And we always will until the day we die. Yippee, yippee, oh, end of day, home we go. For a cowboy has to sing, Bloody. and a cowboy has to yell, Whee. or his heart would break inside of him at the gates of the home corral. It be a, it be a, and the day. Haven't heard you sing like that for years, Roy. You know, these two used to sing together in the Mountain View Choir. Like little angels up there. <laughs> yeah, but they wasn't. <laughs> Remember the time we tied the long rope around the... Never mind, Cookie. <laughs> Boys, how about singing something soft and pretty for Cap? How about uh, seeing Nellie home? Huh? That's still your favorite, isn't it? Always will be. Snoopy's favorite, too. <laughs>
I'll bet that song puts Cap to sleep just like it used to. Roy, I've got to talk to you. Well, now, nothing could be as serious as you sound. It is serious. It's about Bert. Is he in some kind of trouble? No. That is, I don't know. Somehow he's changed a lot lately. <laughs> of course he's changed. He's grown up. I know, but it isn't that. I've raised him since the folks died, and we've always been so close to each other. He doesn't talk to me anymore like he used to. Well, he's just young. You remember how wild and harem scarum I was when I was his age. But Bert has more money than he should have. And he spends most of it on that Gene Loring. He's big enough to take care of himself. Besides, Gene seems like a pretty nice girl to me. But if it'll make you feel any better, I'll have a talk with him. And if there is anything wrong, maybe he'll tell me. Thanks, Roy. And thank you for that pony. He's wonderful. <laughs> How about us trying him out in the morning? It's a date. We miss Cap up at his sanitarium. Yeah, so am I. He's usually there in the morning to feed the animals. What'd you find, gold? No, brass. This shell's from a high-powered rifle. And it was fired this morning. Well, but, Roy, the hunting season's closed. Listen. That deer wasn't grazing. He's being chased. See if you can find Cap and bring him here. I might need him. Okay.
I jumped two of them on this side of the draw. Yeah, we did all right today. That bigger kid can sure smell them out. Chief Matt. Where have you been? You're wet. Where's your horse? I turned him loose. Somebody was chasing me. Who was it? Who was it? Roy Rogers. But he didn't get close enough to recognize me. Honest, Matt. Yeah? When friends get nosy, we don't treat them like friends anymore. Oh, but Matt, listen, Shut I... Shut up. You can go back with us. All right, all of it. Drop those guns. Get your hands up. Quick. Higher. I'd just soon kill you in cold blood like you do those deer. It's time I caught up with you filthy cowards. Using silencers, telescope sights, camouflage jackets, a fine bunch. Oh, but listen, Shut Captain. Up. Yes, there's nothing you can say. I'm sorry you're in this, Bert. It's too bad. A young fellow like you'd get mixed up in this sort of thing. After what your sister's gone through to raise you to be a decent man. I'd do anything not to hurt your sister, Bert. But you're gonna have to come along with the rest of them. It's the end of a long, bloody trail. All right, get your horses. Let's get out of here. Drop that gun, Captain Foster. Put up your hands. I was afraid this would happen sooner or later. Pick up your guns, boys. I'll give you a chance to explain. This is going to hurt a little bit. Get up. One more break like that and you won't be able to. But you didn't have to murder him. I didn't murder him. Take him over to that place where he feeds the animals and put this in his hand. Now get this straight. Captain Foster just accidentally shot himself. talk to you. What do you want? Were you riding a horse this morning with the R brand on him? No, I wasn't. Anything else? No, that's all. Except that Cap Foster's dead. How did it happen? He accidentally shot himself. Found him up at his sanitarium. You better go in and see your sister. She's taken it pretty badly. Sure, Roy. Nice load this week, thanks to you. Jean, I came over to tell you I can't work for you anymore. Bert says he can't work for us anymore. What's the matter, Bert? Aren't you happy? Don't we treat you right? Oh, it's not that. I've got to run the ranch that Cap left us now, and, well, I, I won't have time. I think you'll find time, Bert. Don't forget how you and your sister got that ranch. I wish we didn't have it. I can't sleep nights. I keep thinking of... Ow! Anytime you get tired of your job here, just remember that you're an accessory to Cap Foster's unfortunate accident. But I'm afraid of Roy. 
He saw me that day, and I know he suspects something. He may trail me again. Maybe he will trail you again. Maybe we want him to trail you again. It'll be the last trailing he ever does. Oh, but Roy is my... You see, we can't afford to lose you now. We've got too much tied up in all this, and so have you. I have a few plans for this community, and they include you. You run up to the house now and wait for me. I have some money for you. Okay, G. Sure, Bert. Everything's gonna be all right. Forget it. You don't seem to be so stuck on you anymore. No, oh, he'll be okay. I guess the funeral got him. What's this plans for the community stuff? I'm going to give a big charity social here at the Lazy W. It's to be a basket party with the proceeds to go to a memorial fund for Captain Foster. Are you crazy? Do you want this place overrun with yokels? You know how nosy people can get. Sometimes I wonder what you use for brains, Matt. Don't you see this will make us established, respected members of this community? It's just the old con game. Make people like you and they'll believe anything. It's going to be a wonderful party. We might even have a kissing booth. fortune say today, Cookie? Huh? Oh, nothing, nothing. Never trust a fat man. Oh, now, Roy, you know you never can believe one of those things. <laughs> one in. Roy, I sure hate to say this to you, but you sure made a fool out of yourself at Gene's social. What you said to Bert was a little rough. That's what I want to talk to you about, Cookie. I did it on purpose. I had to find out for sure about Bert. Bert? You mean he's mixed up in Cap's murder and everything? I'm afraid he is. Why, that little... What do you know about Jean Loring and her friend Matt? Oh, nothing much, just except they come out here from somewhere in the east. I got a lease on the Lazy W for them and they put in some improvements and some new equipment. Got the place looking right nice. What kind of equipment? Oh, the average stuff uh, was pretty run down. Seems to me that Gus down at the transfer company did say they shipped in the largest refrigerating plant that he ever did haul. Refrigerating plant? Yeah, I guess them city folks like that frozen food. They might use it for storage. Oh, not that much. They raise horses, not beef. They could store things worth a lot more than beef, like geese and ducks and venison. Yeah. Hey, look at this. It's Bert. They sure talking turkey to him. I think we better do the same thing. Uh, six four eight, please. Hello. Hello, Lazy W. Oh. Well, this is Taffy Baker. Could I please speak to my brother, Miss Loring? Just a moment. Oh, Bert! What is it? You want it on the telephone. It's your sister. Oh. Hello? Well, when are you coming home? Bert! Bert, you can't meet... Hello? Hello, Bert? What's the matter? Anything wrong? He said he's not coming home. He hung up on me. Where are you going? To the Lazy W to see Bert. You want someone to go along with you? No, thanks, Pat. This is a private affair. Said he's not coming back. 
Does Taffy know? Yeah, she's on her way up there now. You better wait here, Cookie. and I think Bert knows who did it. Oh, Roy! How would Bert know about it? I don't know. But that's what I have to find out. And I might need your help, Taffy. Oh, sure, Roy. Hello. Yeah. Just a minute. It's Cookie. Ask him if he knows where Rogers is. Hello, this is Jean. Have you seen Roy? He's there. And my pictures are ready? Uh-huh, they're all ready. I'll be right down for them. Thank you very much. What a break for us, Matt. Hang on, I'll be right back. Roy, this is just like messing around with a bear trap. There's nothing else I can do, Cookie. If they're setting a trap for me, I'll just have to be lucky and spring it first. Well, it's all right if you're tired of living. Did you ever hear of the wooden horse of Troy? Huh? You remember that old story of how the Greeks captured the city of Troy? They built a big wooden horse, put some soldiers inside of it. The people of Troy didn't know they were in there. Pulled it inside the gates. When night came, the soldiers came out and captured the place. Well, where are you going to get a horse that big? Maybe Trigger's big enough. Oh, well, how are you going to hide in Trey? Oh. Ain't going to hide me in no horse. Besides, I don't think Trigger would like it. Here she is now. Don't forget to turn on the charm. Don't you forget to play the right notes. With a little imagination, anyone can dream a bit. And this form of recreation has never hurt anyone yet. Imagine me as a city dude with a silk hat, cane, and spats. Oh, what a picture I would make. Say, ain't he the cats? Imagine me as a jungle gent fighting lions just for fun. Oh, what a picture I would make. Say, ain't he the one? I'm Corporal Roy, I'm a drummer boy, back in 76. Or I can be just a jitterbug, dancing to some hot licks. Gavoot! Imagine us as a bride and groom, as the marriage vows we made. Oh, what a picture we would take if the camera didn't break. I got your pictures of the party all finished. They turned out swell. Oh, thanks so much for calling me. There they are. That'll be a dollar. Thank you. There you are. Hello, Taffy. Don't you hello me, Roy Rogers. You'll find your luggage out front. But he can't stay here, Taffy. You keep out of this, Cookie. Yes, ma'am. I don't care if I never see you again. She'll never get over this. Neither will that door. I think you're right, Cookie. 
Yeah. Well, gee, Roy, I haven't got any room here. Yeah, I know. The invitation to the Lazy W is still open. I wouldn't want to put you out any. But you wouldn't. There's plenty of room. Why don't you get your things and we'll ride out together? You just talked him into it. Why don't you, Roy? All right, thanks. I'll see you later, Cookie. Yeah. I didn't know you in that outfit. <laughs> well, how'd I do? You did swell. I think we sold her. Yeah. I think you overdid it on the door. If I'd have known you were going to break the window, I'd have charged her four dollars for the picture. <laughs> We have a guest. Roy's going to stay with us for a few days. Sorry about the other day, Rogers. I kind of lost my head, I guess, but you're more than welcome here as far as I'm concerned. Well, I've forgotten about that, Matt. Why don't you take your things over to the bunkhouse? I'll see you later. Thanks, Jean. Well, that was easy. Sure. You know, I think he kind of likes you. Really? Maybe he'll change his mind. <laughs> oh, that sure yeah. was. Oh, that was easy. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need. Yeah, I know, Cookie. I'm not very hungry. I'm worried about Roy. He said he'd phone an hour ago. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Worry about him. Give him a little time. He'll call. Well, I hope so. Why don't you run out, Taffy? We'll do the ditches, won't we, boys? Oh, oh sure. sure. We always? Yeah, but well, let's get going. <laughs> Now listen, all you renegades, to what I've got to say. You'd better start to settle down and save your extra pay. In 45 or 50 years, we'll all be old and gray. Did any of you ever stop to think, what you gonna do then? Oh, what are you gonna do then? Oh, what are you gonna do then? When you are old and your feet get cold, Pat, what you gonna do then? If I keep packing this heavy load, I'll be all wrinkled like a horny toad, and they'll use my ribs for a scrubbing board when I get old and gray. Oh, what are you gonna do then? Oh, what are you gonna do then? When your bones all rattle and you can't herd cattle, Hugh, what you gonna do then? Well, I'll learn the lingo of a chalky toe, and then I'll marry me an Indian squaw, so we can live with her maw and ball when I get old and gray. Oh, what are you gonna do then? Oh, what are you gonna do then? When you're down and out with the pain and gout, Cookie, got any ideas? I'll sing as sweet as an old bullfrog eats skeeter stew and pollywogs and sleep all winter in a holler lung when I get old and gray. Oh, that's what we're gonna do then. Oh, that's what we're gonna do then. When the bones all rattle and they can't hurt cattle, that's what we're gonna do then. Cookie! It wasn't my fault. I was clear out here when... See, I didn't break all of... Oh. I'm so nervous now, I... Oh, Cookie, I wish you'd stop clowning. And take a good look.
Yes, it's venison. And we get a fancy price for it. That's what you were looking for, isn't it? This is what Cap Foster was looking for. That's right. You know what happened to him. You can't shoot me. Even if you made this one look like an accident, too. There would be an investigation. You don't want that. Get a rope, Matt. We have no intention of shooting you. Take off your coat, Rogers. I got back here in time or you'd be up on one of those meat hooks. Yeah, I was doing all right. When he gets good and cold, there won't be a coroner in the state could tell what happened to him. He'll just be found dead somewhere out in the hills. No bullet holes, no nothing. Hey, Gene. Yeah? I forgot to tell you. The boy said Bert packed up and left. When? About a half hour ago. Well, why didn't you tell me? What chance did I have? We've got to stop that kid somehow. He's about ready to break. I have a hunch where he'll go before he leaves. Get your horse. Well, you still like me, don't you, Snoopy? <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. I just came up to say goodbye to Cap and you. Want to shake hands, say goodbye? Huh. Oh, now, don't you worry. Cookie and Sis are going to take good care of you. Up you go. Hello, Bert. Going somewhere? Yeah, I'm clearing out. Don't you think we ought to talk about it? You've already done too much talking to me. You said you were only going to kill game. Did you kill Cap? Oh, I'm sorry, Bert, but I had to. But somebody will find out. If it's Roy you're worrying about, you can forget it. We've got him on ice and he'll never leave the ranch alive. Roy? Well, you can't do that, Gene. You've got to let Roy go. I'll take the blame for killing Cap. Please, I'll do anything you say. What's eating you, kid? I can't sleep nights thinking a cap lying out there with a bullet through him. Oh, I know it's partly my fault, but I'll take all the blame if you let Roy go. I don't want that to be on my conscience, too. I'm afraid it's a little late for that, Bert. Roy knows everything and he'll never keep quiet. Isn't that right? Sure. Maybe Bert would like to have a little talk with Roy and get straightened out in his own mind. Get on your horse. Are you... You dirty murderer! Hey, you 
double cross and look. I'll check your coat for you. Gene, Gene, if you shot Roy like you did, Captain. Shut up! Your friend's taking a little nap now. When he wakes up, you two can have your little talk. This is better than you deserve. Understand freezing's an easy way to die. Miss Loring, you're wanted on the telephone. Well, thanks. I'll take it out here. Hello? Hello, Miss Loring? Well, this is Taffy Baker. Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Are Roy and Bert there? No, I haven't seen either of them. Oh, I see. You haven't seen them at all? No, no, nothing important. Thank you very much. Hmm. I can't understand it. She wouldn't even let me talk to Roy. Well, well what's the idea? Must be, be there. Well, maybe she had a good reason. Cookie, can't we do something? Saddle up, boys. I got an idea. Where are you going? Going down to the transfer company to talk to Gus about a wooden horse. A wooden horse? Sounds crazy to me, too, but let's get going. Hey, Bert. Boy, I thought you were... No, I never felt better in my life. I'm sorry about everything, Roy. I told them I'd take the blame if they let you go. Forget it, Bert. Right now, our problem's to get out of here. See, I'm getting the hand loose. You got a match? No, but there's a lighter in my right hip pocket. I'll see if I can get it. Over a little bit, Bert. I got it. Bert, this isn't going to be much fun. I think I can burn the rope in two without hurting you too much. Sure, Roy. Go ahead. It's better than freezing here. I'll try it here by your wrist. Maybe I can do it without catching your clothes on fire. Roy. Yeah? I saw him shoot Cap. Who? Gene. Cap caught us red-handed. I never gave him a chance. Butchers, they deserve the same thing. Can you take it a couple of seconds more, Bert? Keep going. There he is. Here, you better put this on. This place is built like a fort, and we might be here for quite a while. One good thing, this door swings out. We might be able to use this. Give me a hand. You can use this thing for a battering ram. noise, Roy. We can't help it. We've got to get out of here. Come on, Cookie. Can't you go any faster? Not without a pilot's license, I can't. The lock's given. A couple more times ought to do it. in the tack room. Good. It's just around the bend. Hold this outside of your horse. Lock 
the other entrance. Thanks, Bert, but you didn't have to do that. Roy. Roy, I, I can't move my legs. Am I hurt bad? We'll get out of here, Bert. Take it easy. Tell Taffy I'm, I'm sorry about everything and take care of her. I still think I can whip you. Sure you can, Bert. Well, in no time, you'll be... Back end's covered now. On the other side of the fence and cover me. I'm going in. You stay here. This may be a little rough.
Looks like she's gonna need some beauty treatments. <laughs> Where she's going, they don't give beauty treatments. You know, Roy, I've lived in the West all my life. I never saw so many people chasing so many people. <laughs> Now the long day is through on the prairie There's a low hanging sun in the sky On the home corral we will tarry And we'll sing of the roundups in the days gone by Yippee-yay, yippee-yo, and the day for a cowboy has to sing, and the cowboy has to yell, or his heart would break inside of him at the gates of the home corral. We're going to miss you around here, Roy. The boys are going to miss you, too. The boys? So am I, Taffy. <laughs> All right, break it up. It's free. 